this is Eric from Media Figure Unboxing, and in this video, we're going to take a look at SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan Son Gohan. Um, it's really exciting that we're getting a Gohan 2.0, um, but I feel like Bandai is more exciting for their marketing strategy. Um, because this is obviously bundled with the perfect cell that's coming out next month, um, which is just another recolor, and I think it's really stupid. But I think it's really stupid, I'm still paying for it, so I don't know who's stupid anymore. But we obviously need another perfect cell with the modern technology, um, and that cell is obviously obviously too short um in my opinion i don't even mind if they cost like 80 dollars. just make me a new one man like don't give me another recolor but anyways i still pre-ordered it so jokes on me but anyways um i feel like it's been a while since we got a dragon ball figure so this is still pretty exciting for me um we do have a um version one if you don't know it came out like 2011 or something um if you're just getting into dragon ball figures um you can find that one very very easily because they reissued that like what like six times but anyways um here is the left of the box here is the right of the box and here is the back of the box and let's jump straight into the figure and see right, what so we got here we have the figure still in there in a package and it looks like he came with a fair amount of stuff and it looks really good um let's not waste any more time and check out the figure right, so itself. here we have the figure itself and i think it looks amazing i don't have anything to complain just by looking at it um all the paintwork is clean and i like the sculpt um especially the face i really do like the updated face sculpt um this is the reason why i started to um get rid of all my first generation um dragon ball figures because we are moving forward with the technology and everything looks so good nowadays it looks 10 times better um yeah unfortunately we don't have the um, a little cape um hopefully they can release another version where you know they can have the cape but i would really like to see other characters though instead of this but it looks great and let's check out the articulation right, the articulation is pretty straightforward it's technically a shrink down version of awakening goku um he can look up and down no problem and turn his head no problem and um the shoulder is just on a ball joint unfortunately we don't have any butterfly or anything um which is kind of disappointing though so it's just like a ball joint over here and of course you can move all the way up and then you do have the swivel as well and i like how the swivel is really nice and tight um trunks and vegeta has been really really loose i'm not sure if it's because the interchangeable arm but it was really really loose and i like how this is all like tied up and you can flex about this much so it's really nice and the ab crunch is really bad though he can't really lean backward or forward um but he can kind of move around so i guess it's okay and um the hip is really good um this is a moving piece like usual and the lower body of course is the 2.0 um you can swivel over here you can move all the way up and if you want to do some like um really crazy kick i think you can yeah you can do like kind of like that and of course you can bend about this much and there's just like a ball joint over here and we do have the toe hinge i think that's it for articulation and i feel like this is like a quick preview for like you know, little trunks, go tank or go tanks, right? Um, I'm guessing they're gonna be using the same mold, more or less. So hopefully those, you know, can turn out to be a little bit better. But for now, I think this one is pretty acceptable, but it's not the best. Uh, but anyways, um, let's check out the accessories. Right, and so see first off, we have the Devo face, and the face sculpt is really nice. It's probably the most important thing for me, at least. Um, I don't mind about the articulation as long as it's not crap, but I really, really care about the head sculpt. And this is very, very nice. And that's why I got rid of uh, most of my SH figures some Generation 1 Dragon Ball figures. All right, so next up, we have a similar face that is staring to the right, and it looks really Really, really nice i like it all right so next up we have the crying shouting face and this one i don't really care for to be honest but it's really cool that they're giving us something new right all right so next up we have the teeth grinding face and it looks amazing and lastly we have a shouting face that's kind of staring to the left it looks really really good all right so next up we have the super saiyan one head sculpt and let me just show you guys all the faces Default. angry teeth grinding face shouting face and the crying face. All right, so next up, he came with a pair of key blasting hands, and these are pretty standard for Dragon Ball figures. All right, so next up, he came with a pair of hands for him to use the Kamehameha, and it looks really, really good. I think this is my first time seeing this kind of shape, though. Um, do let me know in the comments, but I think um, this is like especially designed for Gohan. It looks really good. All right, so lastly, he came with a pair of hands for you to um, you know, play the scene where his arm is injured, and it looks really, really good. I like it. And let's jump straight into the size comparison. All right, so with the size comparison, let us start with the Awakening Goku. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the um, the previous Gohan to compare with, but I do remember them being around the same height. But this one is definitely a lot more bulky, though. Um, do let me know in the comments which one you like better. But I personally prefer newer ones because I think face sculpt is everything to me, and um. I think they look pretty good in scale, like compared to this one with the Goku. Yeah, it looks really good. I like it. So next it. up, we have the SH Figure Arts Naruto crew, and they look pretty good. All right, so next up, we have the SH Figure Arts um, Ultraman, Tony Stark, Black Panther, and Garo. 
Next up, we have some of my favorite common writers, and they look very good. So next up, we have Raiden and Vash from Rebel Tech. Finally, we have some of my favorite Figma figures and Bruce Lee. And let's jump straight into the final thoughts. All right, so for the final thoughts, I highly recommend the figure. And I feel like this one is pretty much a no-brainer for a lot of people, right? I mean, if you collect SH figure arts or just Dragon Ball figures on a regular basis, you're going to want this one. It's got really good articulation, good amount of accessories. I love the face sculpt especially. Um, I think it's way better than the previous version. Well, of course, they're five years apart and they have new technologies now. So we got to be realistic here. Um, I don't think we should compare them, but, you know, I know I kept comparing. Um, but, you know, it's just a lot better. Um, I'm rambling it myself, but I don't know as much as I like this one I really want to see other characters as well. You know, it's really nice that they're giving us all the remake But you know, they're playing it safe over here um, I think that's why they're trying to release like Tien and Yamcha or I don't know when that's coming But we're getting Nappa and like Scouter Vegeta, right? So they kept doing this. They're like yeah, let's just, you know, redo everything and then you know make money again But I'm pretty sure this is what happened guys like I think we got a really good sneak peek with um, the body mold. Like I'm guessing this is gonna be like gold tanks, you know, little trunks, and um, gold tank, right? Like like I mentioned earlier, and I'm pretty sure they were gonna like you know release gold tanks and boo, and then you know everyone gathered to the, to the team table and like, yeah, um, what if what if we make another Gohan and then you know sell it with the recolor perfect cell, and the product manager was like, that's genius, guys. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Like that's annoying. Like. <sighs> Hopefully they can stop doing that, um, you know, but I don't think that's gonna happen because it's all about business Personally, I would like to see um tank top trunks. Um, I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon Um, because they decided to do the Xenoverse one I'm pretty sure this is exactly what happened as well that like everyone got to the table and like hey We just make a new skull for the 2.0 trunks. Um, should we make another trunks? Uh, which we just released a premium color one and then the product manager was like, you know what? Let's just make a Xenoverse version, you know, so we can grab people from the video games, make them buy SH Figure Arts 2, so we can expand our audience, right? I think that's exactly what happened. Anyways, um, hopefully they can release the, you know, tank top trunks, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, but yeah, um, do let me know if you have any questions, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, it really means a lot when you guys do that. And this is Eric, I'll see you guys next time. Peace!